Hey everyone, today's lesson is special angle pairs. If you have your lesson worksheet, take that out now. If not, grab a sheet of loose leaf paper, a pencil, and I think some colored pencils or highlighters would be helpful because I'm going to be very colorful in this lesson today. Let's get started. Identify each angle pair as vertical, corresponding, alternate interior, alternate exterior, or same side interior angles. Okay, first of all, lines A and B are parallel lines, right? Parallel means that these two lines are never going to intersect. They run alongside each other like train tracks. Line C is the transversal. So this line is a third line that intersects two or more parallel lines, right? So line C right here, this is the transversal. Okay, another thing that I want to explain before we get started is that when you have a pair of parallel lines, the angles in between the lines are considered to be the interior angles. And then the angles that are not in between the parallel lines are considered to be the exterior angles, right? So this is the exterior. And then these angles down here are also the exterior. So our exterior angles are 1, 2, 7, and 8. And our interior angles are 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to go through these examples one at a time. So angle four and angle eight. So I'm going to start out by looking at angle four and angle eight. Now, if I were to take parallel line A and slide it down on top of parallel line B, four and eight would be right on top of each other. Two and six would be on top of each other. One and five would be on top of each other. Three and seven would be on top of each other. These are called corresponding angles. And if we look over to our list on the side here, right, corresponding angles are right here. Whoops. And I'm just going to kind of highlight them for you in pink so you can see that that is the definition that goes with our pink. Okay, we're going to be very color coordinated today. So cor uh, corresponding angles are two angles in the same location on two different lines. Right? So they're both in the same location, but they're on two different lines, and they are congruent to each other. Right, And congruent means that they are equal. So whatever the measure of one of those angles is, the other is going to be the same exact thing. All right, let's move on to our next one. We'll do this one in black. So we're going to look at angles 1 and 8. So I'm looking at angle 8 again. Okay, So this one's circled in pink and black, right? So 1 and 8. Now, 1 and 8 are both exterior angles, right? They're both not in between the parallel lines. They are outside the parallel lines. They are also on opposite sides of the transversal. Angle 1 is on the left side and angle 8 is on the right side. So these are called alternate, right? That means because they're on opposite sides of the transversal. So we're going to say these are alternate exterior angles. Okay, if we go over to the side here, alternate exterior angles are down here. I'm going to underline it for you. And alternate exterior angles are two angles that are outside the parallel lines. They're on opposite sides of the transversal, and again, they are congruent. All right, moving on. Angles 3 and 5. So let's circle angle 3 and angle 5. Now, angles 3 and 5 are both interior angles. Notice how they're both in between the parallel lines. They are also on the same side of the transversal, right? They're both on the left side of the transversal. So these are called same side, same side, and they are interior angles because they are between the parallel lines. Okay, if we look on our list, it's down here, same side interior angles. And these are, as I just said, two angles that are between the parallel lines. They're on the same side of the transversal. 
Now, they are not congruent, right? They are supplementary. So let's make sure we highlight that too, that they are supplementary. And supplementary means that their sum is 180 degrees. I'm going to underline all of that because I think that's all very important. So if angle 3 was 70 degrees, angle 5 would have to be 110 because they need to equal 180 degrees. All right, moving on, we have angles 2 and 3. So here's angle 2, and then here is angle 3. Now these are my favorite angles. These are two angles that are just right across from each other, right? Imagine this is a round table. They're sitting right across from each other, opposite each other. They are called vertical angles. Right? And vertical angles are by far my favorite kind of angles. And I'm not even really sure why, but I just really, really like vertical angles for some reason. So my vertical angles, I'm going to underline them up here. Two angles that are opposite, they are congruent, right? They are equal to each other. Okay, the last ones that we're going to talk about are angles 4 and 5. So angles 4 and 5, I'm trying to pick out a good color to use here. Okay, I'm going to use this green one. So angles 4 and 5, here's 4, and here is 5. Now, 4 and 5 are both interior angles. They're between the parallel lines. However, they are on opposite sides of the transversal. So these are called alternate, alternate interior angles. Okay, and they are right here. So we're going to go over here. And I'm going to underline this for you, that these are alternate interior angles, so we can match up all of our colors. And these are two angles in between the parallel lines on opposite sides of the transversal, right? Angle 4 was on the right side, 5 was on the left side. They are congruent. All right, let's move on and look at some more examples. Okay, so we've got lines J and K. Lines J and K are parallel lines, and they are being cut by a transversal. This little symbol right here means that J is parallel to K. All right, let's get started here. So I'm going to pick a nice color to use. I'm going to use blue. All right, angle 1 is 54 degrees. There are other angles in this picture that are also going to be 54 degrees. One of them is going to be angle 1. And that's because it is vertical, right? It is right across from this 54 degree angle, and that means that they are congruent or they are equal to each other. So I'm going to mark that off. Another angle that's 54 degrees is going to be angle 8, because angle 8 is corresponding with this 54 degree angle. If I took line J and slid it on top of line K, 54 would be right on top of this of this angle here, right? So that means they're going to be the same measure, so 54 degrees. All right, moving on. There's one more. Now angle 5 is also going to be 54 degrees, and there's a couple different reasons. One reason is because it's corresponding with angle 1. If I slid these two lines on top of each other, angles 1 and 5 will be right on top of each other. Another reason is my favorite thing, right? It's vertical with angle 8. So for that reason, it's also going to be 54 degrees. Now to figure out the other ones, you have to think back to your past life when you learned about straight lines. Straight lines always equal 180 degrees. So if I want to find out what angle 2 is, I'm going to take 180 degrees and I'm going to subtract 54 from it. And when I do that, I'm going to get 126. So that tells me that angle 2 is 126 degrees because these are supplementary angles. Now that I know that, I can figure out everything else. Angle 3 will also be 126 because they are vertical. Vertical angles are equal. Once I know that angle 2 is 126, I also know that angle 6 will be 126 because these are corresponding. If I slid the lines on top of each other, 2 and 6 would be together. 
Another reason angle 6 is 126 is because it's alternate interior with angle 3. Right? So for both of those reasons, it's 126. Now angle 7 down here is also going to be 126, and I can give you three different reasons. First of all, it's vertical to angle 6. Another reason is it's corresponding with angle 3. And the third reason is it's alternate exterior with angle 2. So for all of those reasons, it's 126 degrees. Okay, stop the video now, try the next problem on your own, and then press play and we'll check it together. All right, here we go. This time we know that this angle over here is 101, so let's get started. I'm going to do these in order just so I can explain the different types of angles to you, but you don't necessarily have to do it that way. Angle 1 and 101 degree angle that they gave us are alternate exterior angles, right? Because this would be the interior between the parallel lines. So because these are alternate exterior, angle 1 will be 101. Now you might have done this in a different order and that's okay. All right, if I do angle 2, now angle 2 is right next to angle 1, right? They're making a straight line and I know that a straight line is 180. So if I do 180 minus 101, that gives me 79. So that tells me that angle 2 is 79. Okay, let's move on to angle 3. Now angle 3, when I look at it, I can see that this is going to be 101 degrees. And I'm going to give you two different reasons for that. First of all, it's corresponding with angle 1. If I slid line M on top of line N, then that means that 1 and 3 are going to be the same, because they're going to be right on top of each other. Another reason for that is because angle 2 and angle 3 are same side interior. And I know that means they have to equal 180. So 79 plus 101 is 180. All right, let's move on to angle 4. Angle 4 is corresponding with angle 2, right? If I slid those lines on top of each other, 4 and 2 would be together. So that makes it 79 degrees. All right, let's move on to number 5. Angle 5 over here. Angle five, look at this, it's vertical, my favorite thing with angle two, so that means it's gonna be 79 degrees. It's also alternate exterior with angle four, right? So that's another reason. Angle six is vertical to angle one, that's gonna make it 101 degrees. It's also alternate interior with angle three, and that makes it 101 degrees. It also makes a straight line with angle 5 or angle 2, right? So there's lots of different reasons. And then finally, angle 7 over here, vertical with angle 4, my favorite. I always love to look for those vertical angles, 79. It's also alternate interior with angle 2, and it also makes a straight line with angle 3 or this 101 degree angle that they gave us. So for all of those reasons, um, that angle is 79 degrees. Okay, hopefully this is helping you to understand the different angle relationships. Uh, if you need to go back and watch the video again, you should certainly do that. And if you have questions, reach out to your teacher. We are always here and very happy to help. See you next time.